Beta Weighted Delta, a Tackle Trading Glossary Video. By definition, beta weighting is a way that investors gauge their portfolio directional exposure, also known as delta, by normalizing it to a standard benchmark, in this case the SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. Beta weighting the portfolio delta serves three purposes. Number one, to assess the total risk of a portfolio. Number two, to calculate a portfolio's expected move. And number three is to compare relative risks between stocks. Here's a simulation. On the left, you'll notice a hypothetical portfolio of five different symbols, GDX, X, USO, and UNG, all relative to the SPY. Now these are the gold miner ETF, U.S. Steel, the United States Oil Fund, and the United States Natural Gas Fund, all relatively speaking. The stock prices are at different ranges between $19 and $29 per share. The beta of each instrument measures the relative movement that is expected from each of those symbols if the S&P 500 moves up or down one point. If we have a naked put on each one of them, for example, the short put delta might all be the same at 30. But the expected movement of each instrument, GDX, X, USO, and UNG, relative to SPY's movement will change. That's because the relative beta of each stock is either higher or lower than the SPY. GDX has a negative beta to the SPY which means it's not correlated. Uh, the GDX might go up even when the S&P goes down, and it might go down when the S&P goes up. U.S. Steel has a 2.66 beta compared to the SPY, which means that it will move two and a half times faster than the SPY on many days. So if the SPY goes up a percent, U.S. Steel might go up two and a half percent. And if it goes down a percent, U.S. Steel might go down two and a half percent. They are correlated, but U.S. Steel has a higher beta, which moves any movement in SPY is going to make a bigger move in the U.S. Steel. USO is nearly relative to the SPY, where its beta is 0.86. UNG is you know, less than the SPY with a beta of 0.10. Once you beta weight in your portfolio, it will then tell you what the delta expectation is of each of those products against the SPY instead of against themselves. If you were looking in your portfolio on the left, you would notice that the delta would say 30 and 30 and 30 and 30 for each individual trade. But they're not all the same risk. Uh, as a matter of fact, they all pose different risks. First thing is, a naked put, you have the risk of assignment at each of the individual instruments. But how fast does each stock move? And what does that measure against the overall portfolio risk in your totals? Well, that's where beta weighted deltas come in. Through beta weighting, you can actually now get an accurate measures of your portfolio's risk. Thank you for joining us. Learn, trade, connect, and succeed. Visit bit.ly slash join tackle pro and join the premium online community for traders tackletrading.com.